All right, we're going to get started then. Welcome everyone to the Indiana Association of College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Chelsea and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you, but you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash Indiana. And now I'm going to turn it over to our first presenter, and that's going to be Hope College. Hello, thank you. My name is Carrie, and I'm with Hope College in Holland, Michigan. Um, if you're watching this from Indiana, you may have met me because I've been working with students from Indiana um, probably for about seven years. Uh, if you don't know about HOPE, we are from uh, Holland, Michigan, and we're about three and a half hours from the Indianapolis area. Uh, it's a Christian liberal arts college, and it's a school that um, has about 3,200 students. As I'm watching myself, I feel like I'm dragging a little bit, so you might want to just listen to what I say <laughs> rather than watching my face. I'm not quite sure. Uh, we've had some really bad storms in the area, so it might be a... Uh, a problem with the, the actual feed. Anyway, Hope is a Christian liberal arts college. And from the liberal arts standpoint, it's really nice because we have over 90 different majors and you have some time to figure out what you'd like to do. One thing that sets us apart is we have engineering and we have nursing. A lot of times when you get to your smaller liberal arts colleges, they don't have that. Um, we're very well known in the sciences, uh, especially the pre-med track. Last year, we had 23 applicants to medical school and 22 got in. So that's an excellent statistic. We just moved up to number 23 in the United States for undergraduate research. Um, so we're a school that is known all over the country of being able to do research alongside professors. But when you come to Hope, you take your time to figure out what you'd like to do. You actually don't declare your major until the end of your freshman year. And then um, you have some time to work with professors, take classes that will all count for something, and then decide exactly what you would like to do. So there's a lot of conversations going around. With 90 different majors, you have a lot of different choices in that. Students usually choose HOPE because of the collaboration with the professors, but they also choose HOPE because of the feeling of the campus. I said it was a Christian school, and we're a little bit different because we're not a check-the-box school. We're actually a school that um, has chapel services and Bible studies and small groups like many other Christian schools, but it's an invitation to you. It's not a check-the-box. So with that being said, if you'd like to participate, wonderful. Um, just to kind of paint a picture for you, our chapel seats 1,400 students. Now, remember I said there are 3,200 on the campus. So not everybody can fit into the chapel, but it is packed, standing room only, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for about 30 minutes. It's a it's a ambiance of fun, excitement, and students walk out of there feeling like I can do this. This feels really good. You certainly don't walk out of there going, oh, I messed up again. It is a school, though, that when you apply, you don't write a statement of faith. So we attract students that um, want to grow in their Christian faith, students who don't go to church, uh, students who are interested in learning more and having those kind of questions, and students of other faiths as well. We are um, an honors college academically, and I mentioned the sciences, but I also want to swing over to the arts. What does honors mean? Well, in our world, it means Phi Beta Kappa. That's like National Honor Society for colleges and universities. And we're one of the few schools, like there's 17% of us, that are over all the academics. So I, I said a little bit about the sciences, but the arts are also very special at Hope College. We were one of the first schools that became accredited in all five areas of the arts. So that's dance, music, vocal and instrumental, uh, theater, 
creative writing, and then art, sculpture, graphic design, all of those. It's really neat to have a student who actually wants to dance, they want to perform, or maybe they want to choreograph, but at the same time, they might want to own a dance studio eventually, so they get a business degree on top of it, which they can do in four years. It affords students to do what you dream of and also have um, a kind of a backup, if you will. It affords students to go pre-med, but at the same time love theater and still want to participate in that. So our community is very friendly. I always joke with the Indiana students and I say, you have to be nice to come to Hope College. It is one of the friendliest places that I have ever worked. And it's a real community. Our students live on campus on the weekends and we have over 80 different student organizations to participate in. Most of the time, the things with those student organizations are happening on the weekends. Affordability for Hope. We do out-of-state scholarships, and we do merit-based scholarships. We also do scholarships in the arts that I just mentioned. So dance, theater, creative writing, music, vocal and instrumental, and um, art as well. On top of that, we offer financial aid. Now, I often have students saying to me, okay, what kind of student are you looking for? We're looking for two different kinds or two different things within the student. Academically, we're looking for A and B students. So a 3.0 and below, uh, above, excuse me. And we're looking for a really strong community member. Now that doesn't mean you have to do everything, but it means that you wanna belong somewhere. You wanna be a part of something. You wanna give your time and your talents to something and you wanna grow, you wanna make friends, you wanna be part of something. And we kind of grab all that from the application. We're a school that would love for you to visit. And so visiting, you can go to hope.edu backslash visit and see all of our options. Again, my name is Carrie, and I thank you so much for your time for Hope College. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, next up we have Grace College. Hello, uh, good evening now. Um, well, I'm so glad to have you guys here and be able to chat with you a little bit. My name is Michelle and I am one of the admissions staff here at Grace College. I am also a 2018 graduate of Grace and I received my bachelor's in facility and event management through Grace. I'm gonna be sharing with you all just some reasons why Grace is very special and some things that set it apart from other colleges. Grace is located in the beautiful Winona Lake, Indiana. So it's about a two and a half to 15 hour drive from Indianapolis. We have also about a 180 acre campus um, that is all surrounding the Winona Lake area as well. We actually have grown tremendously in the last few years, adding two new dorms in the last four years, as well as renovating our science complex and a brand new $5.5 million renovation to our dining hall. So needless to say, we are growing. We just welcomed our largest class of first year students ever. Um, and so we are a total of about 1300 students. We have a very diverse community and academic area as well. And then our mission is to prepare students for a lifelong career of service, no matter the field that they go into. Now, we are also a Christian college, which means we want to incorporate our faith into everything that we do, and that's what you will experience here at Grace. Just some fast facts for you guys. Uh, we are a Christian college, so everything that you, every class and kind of um, you're studying and in chapel and with your hall, you will see kind of this biblical worldview in all of these different areas. We also allow all of our freshmen to have cars on campus. We also have a um, hundred plus, I believe we actually have 12 different residence halls on our campus. We are a 24 to one faculty ratio, meaning small class sizes so that you can learn with one another and grow with one another that way. We also have over a hundred different majors and minors that span through five different schools of study. 
And then lastly, we have a flat fee textbook rental that I will get into in a little bit down, down the way. So speaking of our academics, we have over 100 different majors and minors here at Grace. They span through five different schools of study. So we have our School of Business, our School of Education, our School of Arts and Science, our School of Behavioral Science, and our School of Ministry. So many, many, many different choices. We've also developed many new concentrations so that if you want to study counseling, you can really dig a little bit deeper into family counseling or addictions counseling, because we know that those are very different. Like I mentioned earlier, we have a 24 to 1 student ratio, which allows for learning and growing in an environment where your professors know you. And we believe that that is really, really important. And that's what we want for our students as well. Professors and faculty members care about the success of our, of our students. And so every student will be given an academic advisor to walk with them on their academic journey to make sure that no class, no credit is left behind on their journey to graduate. A huge perk of our academics is, is that you can get an accelerated bachelor's degree, which means you can finish a four year traditional degree in three years. Yes, in three years. So that saves you a whole year of tuition, room and board, and a whole year of your time. On top of that, we also offer a four year dual degree program where you can graduate in four years with an undergraduate degree and a master's degree, which is four years using your undergrad scholarships and paying undergraduate tuition. That usually will take you six years. And so saving you some time there as well. About 45% of our students graduate in less than four years. So a good amount of students do take advantage of our accelerated program at Grace. One of the best things about Grace is our community um, and the area that we live in, our campus life. We have a lot of different events here on campus um, and a lot of things to do in, in the summer, in the spring, winter. We are actually building a an ice skating rink down in our Winona Lake area. We are very much a summer town. And so the town of Winona said, let's make it a winter town as well. And so we're developing some really fun things to be able to enjoy the community and be able to, to enjoy the community in the winter as well. Throughout the school year, you'll find students out on our lake. We have great discounts with um, different shops down by the lake where you can rent paddle boards, kayaks, and canoes and be out on the lake there whenever you want as well. On top of our campus life, we are a Christian college, which means a lot of different things. And what that means to Grace is we're a Christian college that incorporates our faith into what we do. And you're going to see that through chapel. So chapel is a big part of our campus culture. Chapel at Grace is a time where the entire campus meets three times a week to worship, learn, and grow with classmates, hallmates, and others on campus. Everything else on campus kind of just stops and you're able to just be together and learn. We have growth groups as well where you meet on Wednesday nights, which is just a small group, but it's done on your halls. You'll find so many friends in so many areas, but the people that you will learn from the most will be the people that you are living with, that you're waking up with, you're going to sleep with, those are the people that you're going to learn the most from. So whether you're with guys or girls, that's a good one there. Last, I just want to mention our affordability. We do offer flat fees for textbook rentals. We offer tuition-free online summer classes. And as I mentioned earlier, a good amount of our students also graduate in less than three years. So if Grace is something that you want, we have an application that is less than five minutes, and you can apply the summer before your senior year. So thank you so much. Wonderful, thank you. Next up, we have St. Mary's College. Hey everyone, good evening. Uh, my name is Alex Bauer. I'm one of our uh, staff members here at St. Mary's. I've been at St. Mary's for eight years now. Um, time flies when you're having fun. Um, really excited to bring St. Mary's to you all uh, this evening. Um, this is where I'm at right now, this building, um, coming to you live from Lamont Hall this evening. Um, a little bit about St. Mary's. Um, we are a small school, um, 
a lot of great other institutions here are kind of around our same size, about 15, 1600 students. Here at St. Mary's College, we are a Catholic institution. Um, we are also a women's college as well. So kind of some unique characteristics uh, for us at St. Mary's. Um, if you're familiar with us, if you've heard of us before, those are things you probably knew. Some things that maybe you have not known or did not know about St. Mary's is that most of our students come from outside of Indiana. Uh, so I'm, of course, always really excited to work with uh, our Indiana students, um, but I actually just got back from California. I uh, spent about two weeks in California. I also work with students from Pennsylvania. Um, I think that's one of the kind of unique features about us at St. Mary's is that you can have that really small classroom experience, uh, that really small liberal arts college environment, um, but you're still going to have a true nationwide, worldwide uh, college environment here at St. Mary's. Uh, again, you're going to have students from San Francisco and someone from Miami and someone from Boston and someone from Nebraska, uh, someone from Evansville and someone from Minneapolis, uh, all in your classes. I think that's really, really exciting. So definitely a very um, diverse student makeup at St. Mary's, and I'm really excited that I get to work with students from across the state and uh, across the nation as well. A little bit about us from an academic standpoint. Um, we have a lot of different academic programs um, at St. Mary's. Um, they're all good, um, that's why we offer them, but um, what are some of the heavy hitters uh, on campus? You can see them listed there. Um, Com, biology, especially if I'm thinking of like a pre-med type track, uh, that biology degree serves that purpose really well for us. Uh, nationally accredited nursing program, nationally accredited education program, uh, great psychology program on campus as well. So those are some of the kind of heavy hitters, but all of our programs are going to have really small class sizes. Average class size freshman year right away for you is going to be about 16 or 17 students or so. So really small class sizes. And again, really flexible for our students as well. You don't need to declare a major till the end of your sophomore year, even if you want to go into nursing. You don't need to declare a major till the end of your sophomore year, even if you're excited about engineering or some of those other great programs. Um, again, really flexible. It really allows students to, I use the term plug and play, different major minor combinations. Uh, my wife is a St. Mary's grad. Um, she was a speech pathologist, but also had a dance minor uh, while she was at St. Mary's. And you see that a lot of times as well, where a student will say, I've got something I want to pursue from a, uh, a, an employment standpoint, right? A career I'm looking to pursue, uh, but I have kind of a personal passion um, that I'm not ready or not willing to give up. Um, we believe you can do all of that at St. Mary's. Of course, the career prep is really important, um, but you shouldn't have to give up everything else just to study uh, what your career preparation is. So really excited to have that great flexibility for our students. Um, something that's brand new uh, for us this year, we do have a brand new uh, Center for Integrative Healthcare on campus as well. It is up and running right now, a brand new space for our students. So brand new uh, lab facilities for our nursing majors, uh, but for speech pathology, for any student who says medical something, um, you're gonna take advantage of that brand new space on campus as well. So really exciting that, that is up and running uh, for our students. I mentioned that we are a women's college and proud uh, to be so. Um, definitely a unique environment, but it is a space where Every leadership position on campus is held by a woman, right? The highest GPA, the lowest GPA, uh, the quietest person, the most talkative person are all women on campus. So it is definitely a unique environment. Um, as you're learning and growing and, and developing personally and professionally, uh, you're learning from and, and growing with these other great women uh, on campus as well. There was a great article in Forbes uh, that said, if you want your daughter to, uh, to join the C-suite, if you want her to be an executive someday, send her to a women's college. And I thought that was a great, uh, a great article in Forbes uh, just last week. Um, if you're maybe a little bit nervous um, about the women's college environment or the small school uh, environment for us at St. Mary's, which by the way, if you're from a co-ed high school, the vast majority of our students are coming from co-ed high schools. What's kind of great about this is you've got that great small school experience. Again, really small class sizes, really individualized attention, very much a flexible academic environment. Um, but we're in Notre Dame, Indiana. Uh, we share a border with the University of Notre Dame as well as Holy Cross College as well. So this tri-campus community, um, while we are separate and unique institutions, does share some great resources, um, both from an academic standpoint, some great opportunities to take classes on the other campuses if you choose to, you don't need to, uh, but if you want to, you certainly can. Um, and then outside the classroom, especially um, right around this time of year in the fall time, of course, it's great to have uh, football, great to have marching band, hockey's up and running, basketball's about to get started. And if you're excited about the big university, the co-ed environment, um, you wanna go hang out over at a Notre Dame football game, awesome. Uh, you get all those great opportunities as well. So definitely a unique environment to have that small school experience and that great liberal arts experience, um, but you truly just walk across the street um, and go to uh, a Notre Dame football game and have all those great opportunities as well. Again, I say with a lot of pride that we are separate and unique institutions. You don't have to like football. If you're excited about a small school, if you're excited about the liberal arts and the women's college environment, awesome. We've got everything you need for a wonderful four years. Um, but if you're excited or, uh, or you know excited to have uh, the opportunities across the street, 
that's a great option for you uh, as well. And if you've never been to the area, it is literally uh, just across the street. I get asked that question a lot. How long is the traffic? How long is the train ride? You truly just walk across the street. Really enjoy that about us. Um, one of the things I think is great about St. Mary's, again, that small school experience, students often say, you know, don't I have to go to the big university in order to get a job? Um, our students absolutely are getting jobs. Our students absolutely are going to graduate schools. Um, where do our students get jobs? I mentioned that our students come from all over the country and around the world. So our students are getting jobs from around the country and around the world as well, which I think is really exciting. Great alumni base from LA to DC. Uh, how do we apply at St. Mary's? We're on the Common App. We are a free application as well. Um, we are uh, very much a holistic review process. The same process is for our academic scholarships as well. They're gonna start at $20,000, go all the way up to $30,000, $34,000 as well. Like I said, come visit us. We are open for uh, visitors on campus. Um, and you have myself, uh, I'd love to help you. And we have a few other staff members that split up the state of Indiana as well. So thanks so much for your time and uh, enjoy the rest of the presentations. Thank you so much. Okay, next up we have Franklin College. All right, let me get my uh, screen shared real quick. Maybe. Let me open this up from the beginning. Just if that, pardon me, I'm sorry, I'm having a little trouble getting my screen shared. But we'll just go on without it. Um, and if I figure out how to do it, that's up oh, there it is. All righty, let me get that up and running and we will be good to go. All right, can you all see that okay? All good. All right, my name is Kyle Solly. I'm Assistant Director of Admissions with Franklin College. I'm a 2018 graduate of Franklin, so I spent my four years there, really loved it. As a history and political science major, I was in Greek life, I was in, worked in residence life, so I was in the residence halls all four years. As a student athlete, I played on the tennis team, and I helped coach both, help coach both the men and women's tennis teams now. Um, so I'm pretty in touch with just about every aspect of campus. Um, a little bit about Franklin College. Um, we've got just around a thousand students, so we're definitely on the smaller side. Um, with a lot of student focus, our student to faculty ratio is 11 to one and our average class size is right about 15. So you're not gonna see any of those 200 person lecture halls that you might see at some larger institutions. You're really gonna get that one-on-one -on -one, um, interaction with your professors. You're gonna get to know them really well. They'll know what your professional goals are, what you are involved in on campus. Um, and they'll be there to help advocate for you in reaching those goals. Um, we are about 20 minutes south of Indianapolis. Um, admittedly, that location is really what brought me to Franklin College. I knew I wanted to study history and political science. So I wanted to be where the museums were, where politics was. Um, and you can find just about anything um, up in Indianapolis. So it's a great place for that um, because 100% of our students are completing an internship or doing like an undergraduate research experience. So most students are doing two or three internships before they leave Franklin. Um, and a lot of those internships are taking place in downtown Indianapolis. Um, so that's definitely a huge perk to our students. 98% of our students um, are either in grad school or in a career um, within eight months of graduating. So we've got really great connections. Um, a lot of those jobs come out of internship opportunities. Um, I know we've got two seniors now on the tennis team who had internships last spring who got offered jobs out of them. So they've got, um, they're going through their senior year with job offers already. So they're pretty, they're skating pretty, pretty easy right now. Um, and here's just a quick overview of some of the people who, or some of the companies that our um, graduates go on to and some of the grad schools we go on to. You can see a lot of them are based here in the Midwest. You know, a lot of them are in Indianapolis, um, but especially with those grad schools, you know, we're really going across the board. Um, you know, you've got your IUs, your IUPUIs, your Butlers, but also University of Hawaii, Louisiana, um, things like that. So really covering a wide, a wide range there. Um, here's a list of our majors. Um, so take a look at that and just kind of see what piques your interest. Um, our biggest majors tend to be um, our business field. Um, so business, our sciences, journalism, and then exercise science and a psychology are probably our top five. Um, we do have a strong education program as well, um, but all of these fields really benefit from us being this close to Indianapolis. Um, you do see our pre-professional program. So if you're looking at 
pre-law, pre-med, pre-vet, anything like that. Um, you know, we've got, got those tracks for you, as well as those minors. You know, we've got minors in everything um, from history and creative writing to coaching and fitness and things like that. Um, so you really get to, you know, find those interests and find those things that are going to help set you apart in the job market and pursue those. And then here are just some of those internship partners as well. Um, just highlighting that, you know, our students have a lot of options to them. You know, every student's required to have an internship, but we don't tell you that and just kind of kick you out the door. Our professors are going to partner with you to help you find those. You know, we've got organizations that we partner with. We send them good interns. So in return, they keep taking our interns. Um, so, you know, lots of options there in terms of getting that professional development. A little bit of what, what the cost looks like to go to Franklin. Um, so total tuition is right about $45,000. Um, with that, though, there's not a student here paying $45,000. Um, every student who's admitted are 99% according to the slide, but really 100% um, are receiving financial aid, um, typically ranging somewhere in the range of 15 to 20,000. Um, but some students are receiving even more than that. Our Ben Franklin Scholars competition is open to students who have above a 3.7 GPA. Um, and there are two full tuition scholarships um, and every student who goes through that process does receive extra financial aid. Um, you know, with that one, I'll also point out the FAFSA down there at the bottom. Um, if you filed the FAFSA already, go ahead and send that our way with your application. We'll get you um, your full complete package. We're actually already sending out complete financial aid packages. So students already have an idea of what their costs to be. Um, and then we can have those discussions on how that looks. We are a division three school. We have 21 division three sports across our men and women's teams. Um, like I said, I help coach the men and women's tennis team. So I have a lot of really great things to say about that. Um, but across the board, it's a really great place to be an athlete. Over half of our campus is student athletes. They're participating in those division three sports. Um, so your professors are used to working with student athletes. They kind of know what that time commitment looks like. And they're gonna be really flexible with you. You know, I picked Franklin because I wanted a school where I could keep playing tennis. Um, you know, I wanted those professional reasons about Indianapolis, but I also wanted to keep playing tennis. That was a huge part of it. We also do have a new esports team um, that they are in their first year of competition as well. Um, but though they're not NCAA, they're considered a club team right now. Um, but we've got all those sports. What it takes to get in, um, average student falls somewhere between a 3.0 and a 3.9. You can always be above or below that. Um, we do have our test scores up there, but we are a test optional. Our application's free. We're also on the common application. So lots of ways to apply. Our application's designed to take about 20 to 30 minutes. You know, it's not designed to be a super long process. We don't want you to spend hours and hours on it. Um, and then here's just the links to those. So we want you to apply to Franklin, either on our website or through the common app. Either one, if you love all five schools you hear from, apply to us all for all on the common app. Um, here are those deadlines said so December 1st is for maximum scholarship um, and then follow us on social media. But I think my six minutes is coming close to an end. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop my share um, and we'll pass it on to the, the next of us. Thanks so much. All righty. Next up, we have College of Creative Studies. Great, thank you so much. Um, hi, everybody. Um, thank you so much for, for tuning in. And uh, my name is Amy Armand. I'm the Director of Recruitment at the College for Creative Studies in Detroit, Michigan. I'm really excited to share with you information about CCS. And if you have any questions, I put my um, email address in the chat. Please feel free to email me directly or uh, pose your questions here. Um, I've worked at the college for, uh, gosh, 23 years now. Um, although I didn't graduate from CCS, I wish I would have. Both of my kids graduated from CCS and are doing amazing things. So I also have a perspective uh, of a parent and I'm a, a very big cheerleader for, uh, for CCS and the community that we have. All right. Sorry, hold on one second. Of course, I'm going to have some computer problems because everything was going very smoothly. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Sorry about that. All right, so CCS, a little bit about CCS, if you haven't uh, heard of us, if you're not familiar, we began in Detroit in 1906 as a Society of Arts and Crafts. Uh, it was really a um, response to the industrialization that was happening in the city at the time. Um, if you go about two blocks away from our campus, you'll find uh, the Paquette plant, which was uh, where the first Model T rolled off the line. So that was the beginning of why we're known as the Motor City. Um, Detroit has really undergone an amazing transformation in recent years. We're located in an area known as the Cultural Center in Midtown. We've also been named one of uh, the UNESCO. Um, it, we're actually the first uh, city in um, the country that is named a UNESCO City of Design. Um, we're right next door to the um, Detroit Institute of Arts, the DIA, which is one of the largest art museums in the country. And so our students have uh, full access to that. Um, anytime they want, the, the, the hours are open. Um, we also have um, things like festivals. Uh, we have a, an international mural festival um, that's known around the world um, called Murals in the Market. We have a public transit system that runs right through the center of the city down to um, downtown. So we're about a couple miles um, just north of the downtown area. There's a Detroit River walk along the Detroit River. There's lots of green spaces. So if you think of Detroit, you might, might think um, it looks one way, but there's also a lot of green spaces, um, gardens. There's uh, Belle Isle nearby, which is a, a great um, uh, state park that you can visit um, to get away from things. Uh, see. So, um, and we're also one of the safest uh, college campuses in the state of Michigan. Um, one of the things that I'd like to talk about is what sets us apart, um, our size and our setting, our outstanding facilities, the breadth of our majors, sponsored projects that we have with different um, industries and connections to creative industries and organizations. Um, we're a private nonprofit and fully accredited institution offering a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in 12 majors, six graduate programs, and a certification and MA in art education. We're a member of ACAD, which is the Association of Independent Colleges of Art and Design. The college enrolls more than 1,400 students from a number of different countries and states. Um, our student to faculty ratio is nine to one. And I do think I wanna go, let's see, sorry. All right, here we go. So in addition to our undergraduate degrees, we also offer 20 minors and nine emphases. We want our students to be well-rounded. Um, so about a third of your curriculum will be liberal arts based and two thirds will be your core studio art classes. Um, the great thing about being a student at CCS is that if you have multiple areas of interest, you'll have the ability to minor in um, another area of your choosing. We're really proud of the awards that we've received, and these are testament to the success our alumni experiences. So CCS has um, been named one of the top three design schools by LinkedIn, and that was based on data that they collected on uh, where students went to college um, and where they began working, what their um, title is, and what their um, salary was. So we're very proud of that. Um, we have a number of other um, badges that we can um, tout. So we're rec also recognized as being transfer friendly by Phi Theta Kappa. Our alumni have careers at companies where you'll wanna work. Um, our alumni network is very strong. We have excellent internships and recruitment events. Uh, we have on-campus recruiting events as well where students receive internships and full-time jobs offers right on campus. Um, our graduates have gone on to become designers, entrepreneurs, go into business for themselves oftentimes. They successfully manage studios, galleries, um, creative and community art spaces, and exhibit and sell their work. Some job titles our grads have include concept designer, photographer, graphic designer, illustrator, animator, fine artist, interior designer, documentarian, transportation designer. Uh, one of the things that we're probably best known for around the world is our transportation design program, where we've placed more uh, graduates in the transportation field designing all kinds of vehicles, not just cars. Uh, of any college out there. Um, for juniors and seniors tuning in tonight, I'd just like to uh, recommend that if you're interested in coming to uh, CCS and living on campus for three weeks, uh, we have a great summer program. It's uh, uh, three credits that you would earn uh, towards college. Any college would uh, take those. And um, it's a great experience to see if 
um, that's the type of environment that you want to be in with other creatives. Um, real quickly, too, um, our application process is uh, very easy. It's free. Uh, we don't use the common app, so you'll go to our website, complete the application, submit your transcript. Uh, we'd like to see your work. So eight to 12 pieces is what we're looking for. Uh, we do not require a test score. We no longer take that. Um, and I think that that is probably the best information that I can give you. Um, uh, also, um, we have merit-based scholarships that are, depend on your GPA and your portfolio. So uh, you don't have to apply for those separately. If you'd like to learn more about CCS, just scan one of these uh, QR codes and we'd be happy to connect with you. Thanks so much. Wonderful, thank you. Alrighty, and then we are going to have Columbia College Chicago jump on. Um, thank you so much, Chelsea. I am going to share my screen. We'll take a look at the presentation. All right. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for tuning in. My name is Sam. I am the Associate Director of National Admissions at Columbia College Chicago. I'm also an alum of the college um, from the business program, specifically uh, arts management. So I'm excited to be here and to tell you a little bit more about us. Um, so we are a private nonprofit college located in the heart of downtown Chicago. Uh, we have about 6,500 students, majority of students studying undergraduate programs. So we do have a really small, very specialized graduate school. We have students from all 50 states and 60 different countries um, and about 1,800 uh, newly enrolled freshmen as of uh, last fall. Our students come from across the city, across the country, across the globe. Um, we believe that our students are storytellers, no matter what they're, they're studying, whether it be um, dance or advertising or creative writing when they're literally telling and creating stories. Um, and to be storytellers, we feel as though students um, at Columbia and student, students in general need to be comfortable with um, difference. Um, and getting to know people other than, other than themselves to be in a room with different voices and identities and experiences and stories all at the same table. Um, so our student body is uh, pretty representative of what it means to be a resident of Chicago. 42% uh, uh, um, of our students identify as students of color. 16% uh, of our students are first gen. 28% of our students are Pell eligible. Um, in the classroom, our average class size is 18 students or less to one professor and 12 to one for a uh, student to full-time faculty ratio. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about our uh, application process in a minute, but I do want to uh, show the three ways in which students can be considered for the most amount of scholarship, um, and that is to complete an application, to file the FAFSA, and to submit a portfolio or audition. Portfolios and auditions aren't required at Columbia unless you're interested in our direct entry BFA or Bachelor of Music programs. Um, our tuition as of this fall is $28,756 per year uh, for tuition and fees. 99% of freshmen receive scholarships and financial aid from us. 97% of transfer students receive scholarships and financial aid from us. The average package for freshmen this past fall is $26,199. One of the wonderful things about being located in Chicago is the fact that our faculty can work in their industry because creative industries exist and they thrive in larger cities like Chicago. So our faculty make a living day to day working in their creative industry and then they come back to the classroom and they talk to our students about what's happening currently in that industry um, from day to day. So it's a really wonderful experience for our students to have such a unique currency in the classroom from our faculty. At the same time, students are working within industry grade facilities in Chicago, uh, both on our campus, but then also throughout the city of Chicago where those industries and where those resources exist. Our campus is right smack dab in the heart of downtown Chicago in the South Loop neighborhood. We have about 22 buildings in a mile long three and a half block wide area. So even though you're in the heart of the third largest city in the country, it still has a nice um, college campus feel. We have 
60 uh, different majors and programs to choose from, all of them involving or surrounding the creative arts. Um, so students come in and they take courses in their major right away at the same time that they take a full liberal arts curriculum and then also uh, a full curriculum, curriculum of electives. So students start in their major right away, no matter what they're studying with us. One uh, big program that students tend to like, especially if they're interested in media or design, is our Semester in LA program, which we've been doing for 20 plus years now, where students within their junior and senior year go to Hollywood for the semester, before which we uh, help them land an internship. They take classes on the Raleigh studio set at night, um, and then their uh, day is also packed with tours and screenings and uh, additional resources with our faculty in Hollywood, as well as industry professionals who are out there and help with the program. Our alumni uh, are everywhere, in Chicago, across the country, across the globe. Um, and uh, the network itself is a really uh, wonderful and unique opportunity to join people who understand what it means to earn an education um, and to dip into their creative fields as Columbia students and then work post-grad in their industry. So some of the places where our students work or our grads work, uh, last week tonight with John Oliver, HBO, uh, the former president of HBO, Lennon Motto, is also an alum of Columbia, um, the Institute of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles, Saturday Night Live, so on and so on. So I'm um, a pretty awesome and unique group to be a part of as a grad of Columbia. We have four residence centers on campus. It's not required to live in our res halls. If you would like to, any student will have a spot. So it's guaranteed if you wanna live on campus that you will have room to do so. We are holistic in our admissions, which means that we look at everything a student would like to send to us, um, whether that be a letter of recommendation, a writing sample, um, we do need to see your transcript, whether that be your official high school transcript or a college transcript for the review. Uh, we are on a rolling admissions basis, so we review applications as they're completed throughout the year, with one major deadline being January 19th for our Faculty Recognition Award Scholarship and the uh, deadline to apply for BFA programs and Bachelor of Music programs. Uh, and that's it for me. If you have any additional questions, I would love to answer them. Here's the opportunity to visit our campus if you would like to come and see it in person. And if you do, please do let me know. Um, I am there five days a week and I would love to meet with you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Alrighty. Very good. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to wrap up our session. Thank you so much to our presenters for being here with us tonight and our participants for um, joining in. We loved having all of you here. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick survey. We appreciate any feedback you can provide. We encourage you to check back the schedule um, and sign up for more sessions if you're interested. And you will be able to find this session's recording as well as the other session's recordings at stratoscan.com slash Indiana. Thank you so much for being with us. Have a good night, everyone.